A $1.6 million budget hole is forcing residents in one Columbia County community to consider some tough options. And as News 3's Maria Guerrero reports, that includes higher taxes or teacher cuts. We're looking at about a loss of 30 kids. Inside Lodi High School's auditorium, leaders are laying out the financial challenges the district faces next school year. Uh, touch on revenues and expenses, just an overview. At hand, a $1.6 million budget hole. The district of more than 1,600 students says a couple of things brought them to this point. These homes along Lake Wisconsin enjoy stable, high property values, but coupled with decreasing enrollment numbers, the district is seeing less state aid. Interim Superintendent Chuck Purcell adds the tools highlighted in Act 10 won't help next year. That was a one-time fix last year, and it's exacerbated obviously because our non-recurring referendum is running out, so it's double whammy. As far as what to do, the district could close its primary school for 4K through second graders cut up to 20 teachers and staff, saving the district $473,000, or go back to referendum, which some parents support. The state would recognize that they really do need to feed, you know, fund the local schools. I would, uh, of course, support that. But Chamber of Commerce President and parent Carla Faust is cautious, remembering how 2008's referendum divided the community. But to move forward, I'm not sure with you know the way the economy is and the way some people are struggling in all communities that a referendum would pass again. As the Lodi School District tries to come together to find solutions, Purcell says make no mistake, other districts will face the same problems. I fear that we're basically dismantling the public education system of this state and it's falling on the shoulders of taxpayers. The district says it will survey the community, speak with its employees before making a final decision. The school district also says that it will not bring forth a new referendum in April, but it is not ruling out a possible referendum in August. That could still happen. And so what if it does come down to cutting staff? Well, if that does come down to it, the district will see who is retiring perhaps or just wants to leave first. Then it will go by seniority. The district also has a union contract until June 30th, but that will only dictate means and methods of layoffs, of course, should there be any, guys. All right, tough times. Maria, yeah. thanks a lot. Okay.